Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to turn on developer channel on your Chromebook. Now Chromebook comes in with three different channels, it comes with the stable, beta and developer channel. Now what the channel does is it pushes new updates, improvements and changes onto your Chromebook. So every two, three weeks we're going to get an update and that's the most stable update. That means there will be no bugs, it's already been tested by a lot of people and it's good to go. Now this is for example, this is what I'm talking about. I just did the regular update and now here it says what's new with the Chromebook. It says added text while dictating, make GIFs with your camera, change. So this is the updates I'm talking about. And right now I'm on the stable channel, which means all these updates are going to be working great with our Chromebook. Now there's also a beta channel, which is a middle channel between those two. It has a low risk, so we might experience a little bit of bugs and stuff like that, but nothing major. And those updates uh, probably we will get every single week. So if you want to check what's new on the Chromebook, I do recommend beta channel. And as I said, it's a low risk. Now, but if you want to do developer channel, that means whatever is new on Chromebook, you are going to be receiving it first. So you will be testing all the new improvements, all the new features. For example, this, you will be receiving this, this new stuff probably a month or two months before everybody else. So if that's a thing for you, I'm going to show you how to turn that on. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to head uh, bottom right, we're going to go settings. Now there's two different ways to access this. For uh, We can do about Chrome OS and then we're going to do additional details. Now this could be something else. It might say detailed build information or some other uh, thing, but you're going to click on that and this is where we want to be. Now another way to access it is just type in on top, just type in channel and you're probably going to see this, it's going to say chain channel, probably easier than going through all the steps. And this is where we want to be. Now, right now, as I mentioned, I'm on the stable channel. Now, before, well, let me press this. I'm going to show you the three channels I was talking about. So the stable, beta, low risk, developer. There's going to be a lot of bugs and stuff like that. Not always, but there's a good chance there will be a lot of bugs on the new features or... Uh, you know new changes to the Chromebook so it's your choice if you want to do it it's not going to ruin your Chromebook or anything not like that because the Google is the one who's sending those updates but you will experience some bugs now I do want to explain before we proceed um, we can choose either one and nothing will happen uh, there will be a bunch of updates and then your Chromebook will restart and then you will be either in beta or developer mode but for example, if you end up not liking this channel and you want to go back, it will require a reset. What that means, all your local files, local pictures will be deleted and you will have to sign in with your account again. Uh, luckily, Chromebook, most of the stuff, if not all, is store, stored on the cloud. Just make sure it's all backed up, all your pictures are, are on Google Drive and so on and so on. So nothing really will be gone, but you will have to do that reset where all your local storage will be deleted and you will have to sign in with your account. Not a big deal, doesn't take a long time or anything. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to click Developer and right here it says, it says warning you're switching to developer channel it says you're updating to an unstable version of Google Chrome OS which contains features that are in progress crashes and unexpected bugs will occur please proceed with caution and all we're gonna do is we're gonna press change channel now if you're new to the Chromebooks or you've been using them and you want something stable especially if you're using it for example, for school or for work or just it's one of your main computers, then I definitely recommend beta. Developer might just crash a lot. You might have to restart a lot and I don't think you would enjoy, enjoy it as much. So for me, I'm going to go with beta. The process will be the same, whichever I want to choose, which, which I will show you. But beta is the one I'm going to change right now. And it says currently on beta channel. The updates will start coming in. Now that's it. Now that we're on beta or developer mode, whichever one you choose, you will start receiving new updates. You will have to restart your Chromebook. And now if you're on the beta channel, you can probably expect uh, updates every single week. If you end up choosing developer mode, you will get updates probably once or even twice a week.